Hey everyone, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am here with an unboxing video. Um, this is an item that pretty much was an exchange for an item that I sent off to Louis Vuitton to be repaired. Um, I don't know if I mentioned um, the previous video or one of the previous videos of the delightful unboxing that at the same time I went to exchange my um, handbag for the or the Girolotto for the um, delightful. I took in my um, monogram uh, folio phone case for my iPhone 6 Plus because the glazing was um, coming off in certain areas and so I took it in to get it repaired. Um, so when they were taking the phone off or when I took the phone off, um, it was fine but as you see, I don't know if you've watched, if any of y'all have watched any reviews on the folio case where you can just put your own, you know, like cheap or whatever, inexpensive, you know, clear case on your phone and just put that on the adhesive or on the, you know, the little magnetic thing or whatever you want to call it. And it would stick. And I did that fine. I used it on and off. Um, I didn't always use the, the Louis Vuitton folio. Um, but when I did, it came off. So I don't know why that day it just decided that the case was not going to come off. So the case ended up ripping the adhesive thing off of the canvas. So it kind of like damaged it underneath, which I guess is to be expected because it's glued down. So anyway, that caused a mess. Not only that, but with the, the, um, the glazing. So he said, oh, we're going to replace it and this and that. So I said, okay, fine. Just give me a call when you get it in. So he called me um, a few days ago um, and let me know that they were just going to go ahead and refund me for it or give me, you know, a store credit and asked if I wanted another folio case uh, for my phone or if I wanted just something different and, you know, the same price or, you know, pay the difference. So I thought about it and I called him back the next day and I told him, um, I'll just go ahead and get something else. So this is what I decided to get in that place. And also coming up usually is around the time right now is usually around the time where um, Apple comes out with a new iPhone. And now is about the time where, you know, I would be able to, um, uh, what do you call it? You know, um, upgrade my phone. So, because I have the iPhone, the 6 Plus, not the 6S or anything. So I usually do that. You know, I have the 6s. I, I have the the single, the, the number and not the 6S or the 5S or anything like that. So, you know, it usually works out that way because I'm not one of those where I have to have every single new phone that comes out. But anyway, let's get back to the subject in hand. And that is the unboxing of the item that I exchanged the folio for. So this is it. Here's the box. It did arrive yesterday. Um, the shipping was pretty quick. Um, it, the spark person that I spoke to was Louis Vuitton manager. So, um, he was really nice. Sorry, I'm just trying to cut into the box. I had already cut into it, but <clears throat> I guess not enough. So, open it up. Has all this air paper in here, which is perfect. I can use always use it. And then on the inside, let me just take this all back because it's so much. So here is the case or the box um, with a nice uh, leather cord on it. So here it is. This is an item that I decided to exchange for um, <clears throat> just to try out this wallet. Also, not just to try it out and I'm going to take it back, but uh, just because I've heard so many great things about this type of wallet and I wanted to get um, an SLG to match one of my new bags in this print because I don't have anything. I am, I used to have a zippy coin purse in this print, but I sold it. But anyway, so let's get started. I'm sure you guys can probably somewhat guess. So here is my exchange receipt and this was purchased from the Louis Vuitton and the Houston Galleria. So there it is. Can you, I'm sure you guys can tell that it's a, a wallet. <clears throat> so here it is in the dust bag. And this is what I picked up in exchange. This is the Damier Azor um, Josephine wallet. I've never had a Josephine wallet uh, before. 
Um, the wall, top of wallet that I had before this was the Emily, and it was in the monogram print with the fuchsia interior, I believe. So this is my first um, Josephine wallet, and first, um, I guess, wallet wallet in this print. So hopefully this will work out for me. I do need to inspect it to make sure the glazing is, is great, but he did have to order this for me, so it did take... Um, you know, a day or so. It wasn't, it wasn't even long, but he had to order it because it wasn't in a store. It was sold out. So that's what she looks like. As you can see, she does have the button here, the cream button. You can see on the sides, that's what it looks like. And it's just a nice envelope style wallet. It's pretty similar to the Emily, um, except for the fact that when you open it up, it doesn't have anything up here but you fold it down or you pull it down and has the six or the four credit card slots here, has a set pocket back here, then it has a pocket here. And then um, the great thing about this one is it has this little removable pouch. And then you have another pocket back here, which goes all the way down, which everyone had mentioned. And this one here is made in France. Nice. So it's a pretty wallet. Um, I can't wait to use it. I do like the fact, I know a lot of people have reviewed it and like the fact that there's, um, that the card slots are kind of hidden um, when you close it this way. So that way, if you open your wallet up, they're not exposed here, which is cute, nice. So here it is. So um, basically you can put your receipts all the way down here in the back and um, or use it for cash or you can put cash here and um, or here there's several compartments and then as I mentioned it does come with this little pouch which is really cute kind of reminds me like the pouches that you that come with the never pulls and then on the interior is basically the same thing so it's just really cute for your coins or for Anything else, reward cards or anything, I probably wouldn't put coins in here in this wallet because it's so light and I don't want it to get dingy or anything. Um, he did leave the, you know, the card usually, normally they take these out, but this is the information. There is that. And of course there is this. Sorry about my nails, my hands are really dry. I've been watching them like crazy every day. So anyway, that is it. That is my small little unboxing. Um, I'm hoping to really love this wallet. Uh, and um, so far, so good. Um, I've heard some great reviews about this wallet. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I can't wait. I can't wait to use it. So anyway, that is that. It's a pretty big wallet if you if you look at it, how much room there is. I mean that it can it has plenty of room to expand, so which is really nice. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Uh I am will be doing um another video, I guess, talking about the care of my new delightful um uh, in Dummy Azor MM and also in the uh, pre-loved delightful monogram GM. Um, I didn't, well, I tried filming a video um, showing you guys how um, I do the cleaning of it using none of my bags and the protection and all that stuff, but for some reason it didn't film. It didn't, it, the quality of it was just horrible. So um, I can just go through what I used and how I used the product. And like I said, um, there is a great lady on here named BJ Taylor, and she did a great video showing you guys how she used Love In My Bags to um, treat her, her bags. And so, yeah, that is it, guys. So anyway, I hope you all are having a great week so far, and um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.